which of the following condition does not ensure the convergence of a real sequence an four options are mod of an minus an plus 1 tends to 0 as n tends to infinity summation varies from 1 to infinity mod of an minus an plus 1 is convergent option c is summation n an is convergent and sequence uh, options 4 is sequence a 2 n 2 n plus 1 and a 3 n are convergent four options four options are given to us and we have to find which one is correct and which one is not giving the assertion about the convergence of the sequence means that uh, options we have to find which cannot imply the convergence of the sequence so option a is given to us mod of a n minus a n plus 1 tends to 0 as n tends to infinity and not ensure the convergence of a n means not imply not imply limit of a n equal to l and l not belongs to r limit a n equal to l and not belongs to r it means l is infinity type means positive infinity or minus infinity whatever i am not interesting about the l but limit of a n will not be a real number so there are many sequence or function which never converge to a specific number means uh, if very well non function is exponential function and uh, its uh, reciprocal type function or its reverse function is as logarithm function both are not uh, converge to any specific number so our idea uh, just uh, on the behalf of this, if you consider a n, a n equal to log n, then mod of a n minus a n plus 1 equal to log n minus log n plus 1 and apply the log property log a plus b, but here is minus, so it will be log n upon n plus 1 take n as a common and this will be log of 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n and if you take limit then this one will go to 0 so it will be log 1 and log 1 is equal to 0 so this condition is fulfilling is fulfilled a n minus a n plus 1 tends to 0 as n tends to infinity but limit of limit of a n equal to limit of log n not belongs to set of real number this is one example you can consider another example also as second one second example as we want to interested of finding a sequence which is which is not convergent it means which is not convergent and mod of a n minus a n plus 1 tends to 0 it means if I take a term like this 1 upon in denominator because this tends to 0 it means in denominator n involve here so i take root n plus root n plus 1 because n here and n plus 1 so on the basis of this uh, and these are giving the idea somehow idea about to consider how to consider the function or sequence and this will be equal to if I rationalize it root n minus root n plus 1 divided by root n square minus n plus 1 
whole square and this will be equal to root n minus root n plus 1 divided by 1. So this limit is 0 because of this is 0. So this one is 0 because these are same. These are same. But but limit of a n equal to limit of root n as I consider a n equal to root n not belongs to set of real number. So this uh, is a second example. So there are more examples or many examples you can search or find out for option A. Now what is second option? Summation of mod a n minus a n plus 1 is convergent. If a sequence or series is convergent, it's, it's uh, mean that limit of its nth term is 0. If summation u n is convergent, is convergent, then limit of u n equal to 0. But converse is not true. If limit uh, equal to 0, then summation or series is convergent. Well known example, summation of 1 upon n. Limit of 1 upon n is equal to 0, but this series is not convergent. It is divergent series of positive term series, but divergent series. What is given to us? Option B, mod of a n minus a n plus 1 this series is convergent by the above fact limit of this one equal to 0. Mod of a n minus a n plus 1 is equal to 0. And you can see here, this is the type of Cauchy criteria of convergence. This is of the type, it uh, somehow looks Cauchy criteria. Or you can analyze in analytical way as two terms, difference of two terms is going to much smaller, smaller and smaller, then this limit will be equal to zero and the sequence is convergent. So limit of a n equal to L and n belongs to belongs to R. So it also implying the convergence. So B option is not true here. Option is option A, our choice because of that one is not ensuring about the convergence. But this one is our certainty, certainty to insurity, certainty or insurity about the convergence. So option A is our desired because of not ensure about the convergence. You can see here, not ensure the convergence of real sequence. Now we check option C, summation n a n is convergent, summation n a n is convergent if it is convergent then same as option B limit of n a n equal to 0 if this limit is 0 it means limit n dot limit a n equal to 0. If two function limit is 0, then product limit is also 0. And you can see here, this limit is infinity, infinity type. And this one, uh, if it is suppose L, then it is equal to 0. No. How? You should consider this as, suppose this is whatever the number. So this is somehow in definite form, in definite form and you have to apply the L Hopeter rule. Then L Hopeter rule gives the limit this equal to zero. You cannot proceed this directly.
so this may lead you a uh, incorrect answer or you can stuck here to find out the limit so apply indefinite form or you can consider limit n a n equal to 0 it means limit a n plus a n plus up to a n n type how many times n times is equal to 0 then these all a n limits should go to 0 you can analyze in another way like that like this so option c is also our it is giving the surety about the convergence so it is not our right choice because of as a statement is saying not ensure so option c is our not choice now option d is the sequence a to n means uh, event terms a to n plus 1 or terms and 3n means multiple of 3 are convergent here two conditions two condition is given to us a to n and a to n plus 1 a 3 n this is condition 1 and this is 2 are convergent are convergent then this implying convergence of a n now we think about it this is event terms and n is formed by event plus od it means all event terms is considered here and here odd terms some odd terms odd terms all odd terms all event terms this one is all event terms here all odd terms and this one is multiple of 3 so this one also comes in odd terms multiple of, multiple of 3 it means some some term will be odd and some term will be even like 3 is even 3 is odd 6 is even 9 is odd 12 is even so it means half term is even and half term will be odd so both are mixture both are mixture of almost almost terms of the sequence is coming here almost almost all type all type sequence term is considered here so its nature its nature almost depend on its depend on it and this will if this is convergent then a n is convergent so it is defined on a n or can i ask a question we can restrict this condition to another condition yes if i restrict this condition as 2n plus 1 and 3n this is my one condition and suppose this is this is 2n so I want to restrict this condition so if I delete this one and I make it n plus 2 then n plus 2 this will give all event terms all event terms and this will gives to even and all odd if n is even if n is even then plus 2 is also even so it will comes here if n is odd then odd plus 2 will be odd term then even and odd terms almost all terms will comes here and uh, convergence of the sequence will depends on this so we restricted it and what is the use or benefit to restrict it it suppose you are a computer engineer and you want to make a program which predicts some information or some idea 
then if you proceed suppose you have to large number of data means event event type or odd type then your program is suppose is performing on event and odd then your program may slow down so how you make your program efficient and faster suppose you your program consider one type almost all single type is consider here suppose event your program is consider all event and another is mixture of some odd and even if your program will go all odd terms then your program may slow down or your your program function is uh, make uh, time consuming maybe time consuming so you restrict another condition so it consider only odd some odd and even terms so its prediction may depends somehow more powerful and your program will be more efficient the power of this option d is you can you can lead this option to machine learning or make machine faster so whenever you want to study mathematics your target should be like that you have to improve your mathematical skill to develop some technique or uh, relate to its practical life that th then your mathematics will give you enjoy and happiness in from your inside